but they want to win for their coach. And I've had many, many conversations over the last 10 days with current players, former players, players that David coached, some of his, uh, his peer players, even Kevin Booth, who just joined us. Where are you, Kevin? I know you just walked in. Kevin Booth is here. And uh, he has really inspired these folks who've been with him. He has a way through his own work ethic, his own drive, his own fire to inspire others. Now, the story goes that, that uh, Kevin Booth was a pretty decent uh, football player, but it was being lined up next to David Archer <laughs> that allowed Kevin to enter the NFL and have two Super Bowl rings already. At least that's what he said in the interview. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I'm just checking. And so uh, it, is, it is with a great deal of pleasure that I introduce a young man who I believe is the perfect leader of this program at this time in our history to not just to lead but to inspire. And I can tell you the football team, the members of our current team are over the moon. My phone has blown up with thank you, Mr. Noel, for hiring Coach Archer. And David, uh, please say a few words to the crowd and congratulations. You are the Roger J. Weiss. He is, the, he is the Roger J. Weiss, class of 61, head coach of Cornell football. And I have the sneaking suspicion this is a, a very important day for David as well. Thank you. Well, first off, I want to say thank you. And I'll echo uh, Andy Noel's remarks about Ken Austin and his staff and to thank him uh, for the time, the effort, and the dedication that he put into Cornell and the progress that he made. Uh, we thank him for, for what he did and wish him nothing but success at Hamilton. I, I know he's going to bring success there. I'm so honored to be the Roger J. Weiss head coach of football. Under President Scorton, Vice President Susan Murphy, Andy Noel, I feel like we have the leadership in place to take the next step in our success as a football program. And I'd be lying to you if I didn't tell you that I've been envisioning this day for quite some time. <laughs> if, I, if I told you it wasn't a dream job, uh, I'm, I'd be lying. I'm wrong. This, this is a dream job to me. It, and it's funny because on my recruiting trip here, Susan Murphy was the keynote speaker at our dinner to our group of recruits. And she stood up there and she said, you know, you have a lot of different choices. But you're eventually going to settle on Cornell. And after you get here for a while, you're going to see that you really were going to have a hard time living without this place. You know, I sat there and I thought, oh, wow, you know, I had other choices inside of our league. And I stand here today and I think to myself, wow, she wasn't kidding around. <laughs> <laughs> it's a place that captures you. And on my ride up here, I tried to think all the things about Cornell and Cornell football that captures you. Do we have seven different undergraduate colleges and a host of different graduate programs that are second to none in the world? Absolutely. Can you come here and make your own major? Can you come here and dabble in arts and sciences while taking engineering, a class in engineering, and maybe even a hotel school cooking course? You can. And that can capture you. It's world renowned. It's the best. Is our campus stunningly beautiful? Has USA Today named us the number one college town in America? multiple years. Anybody that's driven through Cornell and Ithaca, they'll say Ithaca's gorgeous and they're not kidding around. That, that's Cornell. That's true. That'll capture you. Do we have football facilities? Historic Sholkoff Field, home of the Big Red. No better place than, than Sholkoff to watch a game on a Saturday afternoon. Do we have Sholkoff Hall, multi-million dollar renovation, best offices in the Ivy League? We do. We do. That's Cornell football. That's Cornell. That'll capture you. There's no doubt about it. But at the foundation of all that, the overarching premise of all that that really captured me, that made me know I couldn't live without this place, is its people. Cornell and Cornell football are all about the people. 
And when I think about this job, when I think of it being a dream job, and I think I get to go into living rooms throughout the country and say to outstanding high school football players and student athletes, wait till what I'm going to introduce you to. Wait till the world that I'm going to open you up to for our faculty, our staff, our strength coach, our trainer, our coaching staff, people that care about your development as a football player, that care about your development as a person, that are going to be sitting at Sholkoff cheering for you on Saturday afternoon. That's why it captured me. That's why I can't leave. So I'm not kidding when I tell you this is a dream job that I want. And speaking, it's all about the people. There's a few groups of people I, I have to thank. First, our current players, and I don't know where the Redcast camera is, but you're scattered throughout the country on winter break right now, and I hope that you're sitting there watching as excited as I am. I've, uh, I've reached out to many of you. I think I've gotten to all of you. I might be one or two uh, that I have to still call after this press conference to reach, but you keep that level of enthusiasm. I thank you so much for your support. It's a Friday. You better get in the weight room today, and I can't wait. I can't wait to get you back here on campus at the end of January. To our alumni, it is an amazing perspective to coach here at Cornell and the legions of people that care about Cornell football that you get to talk to. I've been on the phone with many of them the past 48 hours. It is without question, as Pete Noyes, who is instrumental in building this, it is the best support group in the country, no questions asked. I cannot thank you enough for what you've done on my behalf, but more importantly, on the behalf of Cornell football and all, all of our players that have come through this program and the ones that will come through this program. And finally, uh, for me personally, there's a group I got to thank, and that's my family. I'm one of five children. I have three older sisters and a little brother who's not so little anymore. And, uh, and I know they live and die on Saturdays with Cornell football. And uh, they all just became a heck of a lot more invested. <laughs> so to Kelly and Mike, Beth and Colin, Shannon and Scott, and my brother Steve, I can't thank you enough for the pregame text messages, the, the well wishes, the prayers and love and support you've always given me and given Cornell football. And to my little nieces and nephews, Matt, Katie, Keelan, Joe, Claire, Colleen, and Caroline, I hope you're watching today and you'll have seven great choices of where you want to go to college. <laughs> Arts and sciences, engineering, architecture, ILR, totally your pick. Three other people I got to mention, and uh, one of them's not blood, but he ought to be. A guy who I met also on my recruiting trip who's been instrumental to me as a mentor, a friend, a colleague, and who is as Cornell football as they come, Buck Briggs. And finally, my mom and dad. You can find my mom at the pregame march up running alongside the band singing the fight song. <laughs> and then you can find her in Sholkoff cheering her heart out. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me, mom, and the support you give. And to my dad, the greatest coach I've ever had, former college coach himself. I can't thank you enough. Without you, I've called you my secret weapon before. Without you, I wouldn't be here today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to all of our members of Cornell football and Cornell University. I am so excited to get started. Well, one good thing is our crowd and our attendance just doubled. <laughs> That's a lot of nieces and nephews, and it's a lot of family. So it's my pleasure to introduce Vice President Susan Murphy. And uh, many of you in this room know Susan. You know her well. Uh, at my box in Sholkoff, which is down about the 20-yard line because all the heavy hitters get to sit between the 25 and the 25. So I sit down at the 20. I can hear Susan many, many boxes away, encouraging the defense, encouraging the offense, special teams. She is a, a true supporter of Big Red football. She really cares about how we do, but it's not so much the wins and losses that she's focused on. She wants her students in her charge as the Vice President for Student and Academic Services to have a positive experience to have an experience that they'll remember the rest of their lives, and to have an experience that binds them to their alma mater. 
And I couldn't be luckier as a director of athletics to have someone to go to that is my boss that I can just lay it on the line, open my heart to ex explain what I'm feeling and what I'm thinking. And, th and to have the opportunity to do that with someone like Susan, who is so respected on our campus in this community, it's, it's invaluable. So I'm not sure if she's the number one football fan because Heather Nichols is here and, and Heather and Buck are right there, right there with her. But at least in the triumvirate of our greatest fans and our greatest supporters, Dr. Susan Murphy. Andy, thank you very much. Um, as you can imagine, as someone who has devoted as much time as I have at Cornell, uh, today is a very special day. To have one of your graduates emerge in this time of his life as the leader of a program is just extraordinary. When you came to us, David, as a high school senior, and that was when we first met, uh, we knew of you as a talented football player who was the leader of your compatriots at Union Endicott, and the coaching staff saw something very special in you and invited you to be a member of the Cornell Big Red. That, those same qualities were discovered during your four years here. You emerged as captain of a very talented group of athletes because you had their respect and the coaches' respect, and they knew the leadership that you would provide on the field and off the field to your peers. You went off to be a teacher, which I'm going to come back to in just a minute, and then came back to us and emerged as a recruiting coordinator because you were the best at it. And so here you are now putting all those pieces together to lead your beloved Big Red 